coming up in this episode of Hunt Shoot Off Road, 4B Friday. How to resolve the vacuum issue in your fuel tank for a D4D Hilux with a tray back. Common issue in the vehicles that hit the bull dust out west. Hey guys, Rob here. Um, just driven from Brisbane to Sawtell. And when I got to um, uh, Kingscliff, I decided to fill up with diesel. And uh, by the time I got to Grafton, the fuel warning light came on on the dash and I pulled over and when I had a look, I uh, let the, um, the water out of the fuel filter, thought that that would resolve the issue, tried to reset the light, wouldn't work. And uh, after further inspection, I went and opened the fuel tank and it sucked in and I heard the uh, long range tank uh, buckle as I un undid that and I remembered uh, a long time ago a guy told me about um, there is a vent in the fuel filler cap and I believe that that's taken a blockage and uh, tomorrow I'm going to have to look at trying to repair that but I'll just try and show you now the, um, the fuel filler cap apparently this is quite a common problem on Red Dirt Warriors so all the vehicles that have been out west and my vehicle is a X chinchilla council um, vehicle so let's go have a look this is the fuel cap off the Toyota Hilux um, tray back and I identified the problem here and I'm going to show you uh, what it is I don't think I'll be able to rectify it on camera so this here is a retainer that stops this um, release valve from popping out so you can see here there's a o-ring and a channel and there's a spring here that that releases that that valve so when your tank starts to take vacuum from the fuel being pumped out this should release and pull in now you can already see that there's some dirt started to accumulate in there that lines up with this hole here so you can see the two screw holes and then that vent lines up with this vent here Oh, which I had it around the wrong way. This is a... So that vent lines up with this one here. There is a, supposed to be an O-ring on there, which you can see is stuck to the, the top there. So the O-ring goes around that. That can actually pull out as well. Um, not sure if that's supposed to pull out. So that little bush is in there as well. Now I did have some dirt in that hole um, and I, I used this pin to, to get some of that out. Um, I'm just going to take the key out. So this bit comes off as well. Now this seal was covered in filth. I've cleaned that off. But as you can see here, now... There's this channel here, and it is, there is actually a, I can't get any lighting, but it's this, there's a hole here that lines up with this here. So you can see that, that going straight ahead. Maybe if I use a, I don't have anything else here with me, but that, so this is also completely blocked. And as you can see, there's a lot of filth around here. That is completely blocked, and that vent will go down to here. And because it's blocked, it's not allowing the air to pass, to bypass the seal to then come through through the vent and then into the tank. So as soon as I unblock this, that should solve all of my problems and not cost me a cent. I've been trying to find this on the internet, and I could not find anything about this on the internet. Um, it's probably nearly exclusively 
an issue in Australia because Australia is really one of very few countries that uses traybacks on their Hiluxes. Everyone else uses tubs and probably don't have this issue as prevalent as we might. And of course, it's only really prevalent in places where you go through the bull dust. Um, so if you only go through the bull dust a few times, it's probably not even an issue. But um, I do have another mate that has a the light on on his dash and it's quite likely he has the same issue. So I'll fix this up. I've done the best I can and you can see that hole is pretty clear now. I can blow through it as well now. Um, I certainly couldn't do that before. So we will take it for a run and see how we go and I'll report back. Okay, I've just driven about 350 kilometers um, back from Sawtell, Coffs Harbour to the Gold Coast and I'm about to crack the fuel tank and hopefully we have fixed the suction issue. There was a small bit of suction there but that's uh, nothing compared to what it was. Um, I think it's definitely resolved the issue. Okay, to resolve the uh, fuel error light to, to get rid of it. Um, I've already done it so I can't show you live but all you do is turn the ignition off go around to the primary uh, fuel filter disconnect the wire on the sensor here then just start the car again with that disconnected you'll see there's the light and it should go off pretty much immediately. And then when the car's still running, come back around and reconnect that light. Or reconnect the switch there. And that should rectify the issue for you. And look guys, hopefully that uh, sorts you out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down this corner or the round circle at the end. And uh, hit, the, uh, hit the like button. And also make sure you subscribe. I think I already said that, whatever. Okay, but until next time, guys, make sure you get out there, get them big bores, keep your four-wheel drive on the road, stay safe, and catch us later. Have a good one.